Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hatch coming at you live from the parents' basement. Uh, let me show you something. Something weird happened. Uh, must have been overnight, I don't know. But you remember this graph? Um, I swear I didn't write this. I, I swear I didn't. Um, there's another data point on it now, which is even lower than all the other three. And um, it's now titled, it's, it's called The Saddest Graph Whoever Lived. I just want you to think about that for a moment. It's really, um, it's really making me sad. It's like, I don't know. I got this sad little graph just sitting in my, uh, sitting in my basement. I don't know. What to do. I want to make it a happy graph. I don't know. I don't know. That's all. Yeah. So it'd be really sweet if we could have everybody watch these and comment. Anyway. Um, so just a quick rundown of what you guys need to be doing, um, for today for about an hour. My 10th graders, I want you guys to send me a reflection on the research paper process. So I just want to sort of wrap this whole thing up. Um, so tell me about things like what was easy, what was hard, what was frustrating. Um, how did maybe um, leaving school affect all this? Like were you doing really well up until we left and then like things kind of went haywire or maybe it was the other way around, maybe some extra time um, and some time to like work alone helped you out. Um, but just tell me about the whole experience. Tell me what went well, what went wrong, what I could do better, what you could have done better. Um, all those kinds of things. I want you to reflect on the whole experience and send that to me. Um, and that's in addition to the, the normal things I'm going to have you guys do every day. Um, to journal and uh, to watch and comment. Um, for my 11th graders, so you guys remember how uh, we were going to plan our unit together, right? Like literally the Monday we, um, the first Monday we didn't have school, we were supposed to like get together and try to plan our unit. So we're still going to try to do that. Um, so send me any ideas you have about what you want to uh, study, what you, what you want to talk about. Remember that the, the content is up to you. Like the things that we study, that that's like in your park. As for like the actual like English stuff that's kind of more up to me to figure out how to make that happen so don't worry too much about like you know if you feel like it's the topic you want to study isn't something we can do because there probably is a way to like to turn whatever you want to do into an AP class so I wouldn't worry about that just like talk with your friends if you want send me some ideas you can send me 10 I don't care um, but yeah next week we'll probably start uh, turning that into like an actual unit. Um, yeah. And then for my seniors, I want you guys to do a similar thing as my 10th graders. I want you guys to reflect, but I want you to reflect on our whole year together. Um, so I gave, I gave more specific instructions in the um, body of the um, post, but I want you guys to just tell me about things that like, that stuck out to you, things that you remembered. It could be things that we learned like in school, um, but it could also be like fun times you had, like funny things you remember, just anything from this class this year that stuck out to you as being memorable. Um, so I'd like you guys to send that to me as well. Um, this goes for everybody. As of next week, we're going to be starting to get more, uh, more rigorous and more serious as we start to transition to actual online learning. So... We're still figuring out exactly how that's going to look, but I should be able to tell you guys by next week how we're going to make this happen. Right now, I'm, I'm thinking this will probably happen mostly through Zoom classes, um, but we'll see. We're still figuring out the specifics, but I'll let you guys know as soon as I know, which should be pretty soon. So if you haven't really been doing anything up till now, next week is when the rubber really hits the road. Like Next week, I really need everybody um, invested in submitting work every single Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and I guess that starts today. You all have something to send me. So I expect every student to send me something. Um, yeah, I think that mostly covers it. That is time for tickets now. All right, first up, we have got my period two English class, our big winner. Oh, I think I'm going to do these only on Thursdays, actually, by the way. The first time I did it on Tuesday was just because I forgot, but I want to make it more of a thing, so we'll keep it on Thursdays only, I think. And the big winner is Eve Tonks. Congrats, Eve. Next up, we have 
period seven and eight English. Let's see, my big winner for this week is Max Goldstein. Shout out to Max, thank you. Let's see, third we have AP Lang. Big winner for this week is, it is Alexia. Congrats, Alexia. And lastly, we have Britlet. And our winner for this week, it's Carter. Congrats. All right. A round of applause for my big winners. Uh, last thing before I let you guys go is listen to today's song that I posted below. I really like it. I think you guys will too. Stay safe out there, folks, and have a great day.